Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. And today we are going to be talking about my fashion school experience. So for those of you who have been following me, you know that in May of this year, I graduated from a fashion school. And technically it's not exactly fashion school. Like I went to a traditional four year university. I went to North Carolina State University, but I majored and I studied in a fashion design program. So the exact degree I have is a bachelor of science in fashion and textile design with a concentration in fashion. And I also have a minor in entrepreneurship. And so since I was in a fashion program at a four year university, a lot of people usually ask me like why I chose to do that and why is it better? Um, it's not better, it's just better for me. It was the best fit for me. I personally just really wanted the traditional four-year experience. I wanted to go to football games. I wanted to have the diversity of people at a regular college instead of fashion school. I wanted to join clubs. Um, I just wanted that regular college experience. But everyone is totally different. You might thrive going to a fashion school in New York City or LA or all across the world, but this is just what the best fit for me is. So I also have a video on how how I chose my college and how I chose my major. I will put that in a link down below and also on a card on top of the screen. But yeah, I will also link my program down below in case you guys wanted to check it out. So was fashion school worth it? What are my thoughts? I'm going to break the video down into three parts. The first part being what I learned or what I took from college what I didn't necessarily learn and what I had to learn myself because I wasn't taught it in college. And then do I think fashion school is worth it? And my final thoughts. Also, if I look down, I'm like checking out my notes on my notebook down here so I don't miss anything. So if you see me, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so starting off with what I learned in fashion design school, the number one thing, design. <laughs> also, I'm gonna be going into very general things, like not very specific things. Like I learned how to, so on an industrial machine, like, yeah, great. Good work, Kiana. No, there's so many little things I learned and little things I didn't learn. So we're gonna go overall here. Okay, so design. And when I say design, I mean learning how to conceptualize a project, getting inspiration, creating mood boards, documenting my process, revision, the whole thing. I personally am someone who is very technical and I think that I flourish in like the sewing and the construction, but I've never been someone confident in creating a design and conceptualizing a design. And what I definitely learned throughout college was how to think like a designer, how to make edits, how to pull from sources of inspiration because every single project we did, you had to do that. We spent a long time on the conceptualization and the thinking things through and the brainstorming because that is just as important as the construction. Yeah, the second thing would be critiques and collaboration. So in college, you were surrounded by your peers and your professors. After every project, at least in my program, we did a critique where you present your project and your classmates can give you either compliments or constructive criticism. It's a really scary thing at first, but I think it is so incredibly crucial to growing as a designer. If you're learning at home, you don't get all of these voices to help criticize you, to give you that constructive criticism or tell you what you're doing right and you should continue doing. You have your very experienced professors giving you feedback on your project. The critiquing process is definitely what makes you grow so much faster. It's like you are the designer, but you have 20 other voices giving you advice on how to better yourself. Another thing related to that is collaboration. So again, you have all of these peers and all of these professors to collaborate with. So say maybe your peer figured out a cool way to put in a sentence leave that you've never seen in any book or any video or anything before. Now you know how to put in that sentence leave like they do. To be around a bunch of other students that each have their own point of view is super helpful in trying to develop your own point of view. Also, I didn't really love my group projects, but group projects are incredibly important to learn how to work with people, you know, out in the real world. Designers can be a little bit opinionated and it's good to have some experience during college doing that. Also, art and fashion is so subjective that learning about someone else's process or design aesthetic can be really beneficial to developing your own. Another thing fashion school did is it forced me to learn things that I didn't necessarily want to learn. So for example, I took a whole class on fashion history. Am I interested in history? Not that much. I mean, I'm honestly interested in regular, like 
global and American history more than fashion history, but obviously since I'm in fashion, it is important to know where fashion came from so that we can know where it's going into the future. I took multiple classes on fashion marketing and fashion branding that I wouldn't necessarily have thought to learn if I was just doing, you know, learning by myself. And those classes have been super helpful to me as a business owner and a content creator. The negative thing about them forcing me to learn things I didn't want to learn is that they forced me to take a bunch of textile technology classes. It's in our curriculum. Like I said, we're a Bachelor of Science, so we had to take like textile medical science classes, textile technology, a bunch of those, textile polymer color chemistry, like chemical processes, all this stuff that I just felt like wasted my time and I'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, that is one of the negative things about them forcing me to learn things. <laughs> Another positive huge thing is that they also forced me out of my comfort zone. They pushed me out of that comfort zone, which I'm very grateful. If you're doing things by yourself, it's really easy to just keep doing a variation of something that you've done before or just learning one little thing new each time. But through college, you know, you have prompts, you have rubrics, and it forces you to try new things. You have all these different units and classes, and it's just great to be pushed outside of my comfort zone because I've learned a lot of things that I enjoy that I didn't ever think I would. For example, we had to take a drawing class. I didn't know if I was good at drawing plot twists. I'm pretty good at drawing. I'm not the best at drawing fashion croquis, but I'm pretty good at drawing. <laughs> I got to take textile specific classes where I got to weave and knit fabrics. I got to design them in software and then have machines knit them. The exploration of different types of design is something that I really, really enjoy because school has all of these different classes and all of these different machines they literally had so many machines it's really easy to dive into something and learn a lot about it because you have the resources and you have the opportunity to learn about that certain thing obviously college has taught me so much so much about fashion I can't even begin to get into everything but what it has really done is pushed me forward at a much faster pace than me learning on my own. So I know I would not be at this skill level had I learned from the comfort of my home. Okay, now I wanna get into what I didn't learn or some things I wish I had learned or gotten out of college and what I had to do for myself because I didn't get that in college. But before we go any further, I do wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. And I'm super excited about Skillshare sponsoring this video because I feel like it really fits with the theme of this video. So stick around, you don't wanna miss out. So for those of you who do not know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. You can explore new skills, deepen your existing passions, and just get lost in creativity. I know you guys would be very interested in their classes. They have classes all about fashion design. And not only that, they have classes on like marketing, they have classes on modeling, they have classes on business. They really have it all. So anything you wanna learn, it's on there. A class that I have personally been interested in lately is called The Inspiration, where fashion design begins by Daniel Vosevic. This class starts from inspiration, to mood board, to creating a design from that mood board, to defining your target customer. It just like kind of goes through everything. And I thought it was really interesting. Something I took from it, a little tip I found out from that class, um, the teacher, Daniel, he advises you to not just go with the first sketch of a design that you create. He says to sketch something maybe 15 or 20 different times because your best ideas happen when you've been in that creative mindset for a while. I just thought that was a really neat little tip that I'm definitely going to be implementing. Skillshare is also curated specifically for learning, which means that there are absolutely no ads whatsoever. And they're also always launching new premium classes so that you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. So I do have something special for you guys. So the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description down below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. So because of that, I definitely think that you guys should at least check them out. They're an amazing resource. They have so many different classes that I know you guys would be super interested in learning about. Spoiler alert, I don't think you have to go to fashion school to become a fashion designer. I mean, we have these amazing resources like Skillshare right at our fingertips. So thank you so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now, Back to the rest of the video. Number one, 
sewing techniques. <laughs> um, luckily, I took a lot of apparel classes in high school. I did an independent studies class in high school as well for apparel, where I learned a lot about sewing techniques. We did, of course, learn a lot of sewing techniques in college, but just not nearly as much as I would have liked. If we had gotten rid of those textile technology classes that I'm just truly never, ever, ever, ever going to use, ever. I would have loved to replace those with some sewing technique specific classes. I mean, one of the technology classes would have been good to take, but not like eight of them, you know? That's just not necessary for me. We also have a textile technology minor, which like, if I want to learn about textile technology, let me just take the minor instead of taking away like a year of fashion college. Anyways, so because I didn't get as much sewing specific instruction as I would have liked, I have accumulated many books over the years, many favorite resources and videos. I actually made an entire video all about that like a month or two ago. So I'll put a card on the top of the screen and link that down below if you are interested. So throughout college, I was always referencing books, always referencing videos, taking like online classes to better myself. Another thing I did to learn more about sewing is I became a tailor for a couple of years. I worked at two places as a tailor, Nordstrom and Lee's Taylor. As far as like sewing and construction experience, that is better than any internship I could have ever gotten in my opinion, because I got to take apart clothes and see how certain things were made. I learned all about men's suit tailoring, which is like the hardest thing ever. It was just really good experience. I learned so much about construction from that. Another thing that I didn't really get from college, and this is not my college's fault it's just based off of the location that my college is in is like the industry experience also i mean you can do like internships and like jobs and stuff in between to get industry experience but what i'm thinking about is like anyone who goes to college in like a big city like new york if you're at fit if you're at parsons or even la if you're at fit em, wherever um you have fashion shows you have a lot more like industry people there right now when i'm filming this we're in the middle of new york fashion week and i've seen a lot of fit people i know at fashion week behind the scenes helping out being assistants it's just really cool to see and that is incredible experience to see what happens behind the scenes for fashion shows and for companies because that's not really an option for me of course to go to New York Fashion Week every season, um, I went to my local fashion shows. Obviously, they're not as big as New York Fashion Week. It's North Carolina, it's Raleigh, it's Greensboro, it's Winston-Salem, um, but I showed at those fashion shows. Also, when I was younger, like 15, 16, I modeled for like every fashion show in North Carolina so that I could get that experience. I wanted to meet people. It's good to network with people. It's good to see how fashion shows work. It's good to meet other designers and see how they're running their business. If you're at a fashion school, I would definitely highly recommend participating in local fashion shows or if your school has fashion shows to participate in those even if you're not a designer to be backstage helping also just little side note i did so many fashion shows in college i made many collections and because i did that i got so much more experience not only like with working with people and networking in the industry and stuff but also just with sewing and design think about how many pieces you have to send down a runway and how many pieces are in a collection it's it's a lot of work and I gain a lot of skill from that. Okay, so now to answer the big question, was it worth it? My personal opinion, absolutely. However, is it necessary? I don't think so. So I wanna answer the is it necessary a little bit more in depth first. If you are not in the situation where you can go to college or maybe you don't even wanna go to college and you wanna be a fashion designer, that is totally fine. I think that you can be just as talented or more talented than someone that went to fashion school because it's all up to you, right? There are so many resources out there. It's 2021, we have the internet, we have so many videos, we have books, we have online courses that you can take to be in the fashion industry. You totally don't have to go to college anymore, um, at least in my opinion, you know? You might, you might have to, I don't know. Whatever, it's up to you, you know? <laughs> However, I just wanna personally say that if I didn't go to college, I'm like a very motivated person. I, I really push myself to like work harder and do extra things outside of school. I know for myself that I wouldn't be at the same skill level as I am today had I not gone to college as well. Because let's be real, like obviously it teaches you things. It definitely helps you. It gives you opportunities, resources, friends, professors to help you with anything. So yeah, college was definitely helpful to me. I 
do not regret going to college. I absolutely loved my college experience would recommend it for sure. Now, when we're answering the question, was it worth it? You have to consider your time, the time, the four years I spent in college and the money I spent in college to answer, was it worth it, okay? First of all, the time thing, I don't even care about. I never want, I never want to be an adult. I'll go to college forever for the rest of my life. If it was free, oh my gosh, I'd be there. Money, I went to an in-state school. Huh. Yes, it was worth my money because an in-state school compared to an out-of-state New York fashion school, oh my goodness, the gap, huge. <laughs> the price gap between my in-state school and FIT, huge. <laughs> to give you a little brief background, I don't really know what the numbers are now. I'm sure you can just search it. But when I was going to school and like looking at things, NC State tuition was about $8,000 a year. Um, I think it was a little bit less when I started and ended up being like over $8,000 when I finished. $8,000 a year, FITs was tw over $20,000 a year okay that adds up over four years also if you think of cost of living cost of living in north carolina where i'm at cheap <laughs> well not like the cheapest but way cheaper than new york new york is probably like two three four times the cost of living here so for the price the education i got splendid very pleased very happy with it okay my final thoughts yes I am big on fashion school. I absolutely loved it. Again, I didn't go to a real fashion school. I was in a fashion program, but I just wanna say, no matter what, you need to choose the right path for you. Like don't go to FIT and put yourself in all this debt and stress yourself out if you're like not sure about going to fashion school or whatever. Because I can tell you right now that I had a great time going to a much less expensive school. I feel like I got a great education, but you know, if you think that a fashion school in New York or LA is more your style, then amazing, wonderful, go do that. I feel like college is just such an individual thing. It's up to you. It's what's the best fit for you. I don't think you have to do anything. I don't think you have to go to any certain school to be successful. Um, at the end of the day, it's up to you. The resources are out there. You can make that decision for yourself. I just wanted to share what my thoughts were on college after I have graduated. So yeah, I think that's everything. A shorter video today. I'm not actually sure. Is this a short video or is it a long video? I think it's short. If you enjoyed this video, if it taught you some things, feel free to give me a thumbs up. It is the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Also, if you have any questions about fashion school, please leave them down below and I will try to get back to you so I can help you out. Um, feel Feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. Also subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And yeah, so I think that is everything. I will see you guys next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.